All right, hello everyone. My name is Tashina Anderson, and this page is really all about helping you to build your network marketing business. So today we're gonna to be getting into your why, that why that should be making you cry. How do you build the perfect why? So the first thing you need to do is you need to write the, the why down, right? Um, I've heard people say like, your why should make you cry. Whatever it is, why is to me just like a big goal, something that you really want. And what I love about even just starting with this concept is that um, this helps you to kind of like set the tone of who you are, what you want to do, you know, why you want to do it. And it'll, it'll spark some things. It might spark up your creativity. It might spark your aggressiveness. Maybe you didn't even know that was there because that why is so meaningful to you. So what we wanna do is we want to think about it, think deep. You know what it is that you want out of life. You know what it is that you wanna accomplish before you leave this world. So write that thing down. Down, the question is, can you have more than one? Absolutely, but I think that there always should be one that is the one that when you think about why you're doing your business, you should first think of that that most important thing that you're doing it for. So you wanna write it down. Um, some of the things that I also do in writing it down is I might type it up. I've put my why in a book. Um, I put it um, all kinds of places to make sure that um, it's just not a thought, but it comes out of me and it goes either you can write it with pen or you can type it up to really make it official. But if you really wanna go that step further, I would say put it in a book. Now, I also think that your why should include someone other than yourself. Why, 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 why? Um, because, you know, we have this tendency to really discount ourselves, right? Like if you're doing something for yourself, a lot of times you won't really push yourself. If you're losing weight for yourself or you have to uh, do whatever it is, especially when you're talking about a big goal, for some reason, when you add that other person in there, whether it be a parent that is elderly and you need to take care of them, or a kid that you have and, and you really wanna help them to go to school, maybe you had to pay for your student loans and you didn't have parents to help you or you didn't go to school, so you're doing it for them so you can help them to get through school. Whatever it is, um, when you include someone else into your why, it just makes it even stronger. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create the perfect why. So if you wanna make it even better, don't just think about yourself, think about someone else and what you can do for them. All right, so when you think about um, writing it down, you also want to make sure you are very clear. You know, it's not just about like, I wanna be financially um, independent. What amount of money, What what is it that's going to make you financially independent? Is it a certain amount of money saved? Is it a certain amount of money invested? Do you need to pay your house off? How much is that house? You wanna be very, very clear on your goals. Maybe you, you wanna do the business because you've always thought about uh, buying yourself a white Range Rover. I know that was like a huge one for me. It was my dream truck. I love trucks and that was what I wanted. But you have to be, you have to know the color, you have to know the make, the model, and even be as clear as having a picture of it. Writing down a goal sometimes are not just the words, sometimes it's the picture that you put everywhere. You put it in your office, you put it in your bedroom, you put it in your current car. Um, so, you know, just be very clear when it comes to it. Maybe you have a neighborhood you wanna buy a house in uh, and you know it's a three car garage. You know that, you know, I remember when I first got started, I wanted double staircases. Um, because I would see it in movies. And whenever I saw a movie and there was a home that looked like a uh, successful, like somebody was making a lot of money, they had double staircases. And I remember just kept, I kept saying, I want double staircases, I want double staircases. And I remember when I found it, like it was perfect. It was exactly what I was looking for. And then as time went on, you know, um, I wanted new things. I wanted other things that were important to me in a home. But you, you want to have it written down and you want to be clear on those things so you know what you're working towards. Okay, so here's the second part is you want to tell someone. 
in order to create like the perfect why, you have to tell someone. You have to tell them, uh, you know, and dream with them. So not just tell them, but dream with them. You know, one day when my business does this, I am going to buy this. And I can't wait. I can smell the leather. I, I know I've seen it at the dealership. I've looked for it online. My neighbor has it, or I've seen somebody with it, the mom at my kid's school. And that's exactly what I'm going to get. Or, um, you know, start dreaming and telling them um, to hold you accountable. Listen, when when I call you and I'm talking about I'm watching television or I'm doing anything else, keep me focused. Tell me, you know, about the dreams that I'm telling you about. You want that person that's truly going to hold you accountable, a good friend or even um, like a sibling or a parent. It doesn't really matter who the person is. Just know that. Whoever you tell, they're not going to be negative and they're not going to make fun of you or laugh at you. This is the person that you have complete um, just uh, trust in and trusting that they're going to lead you in the right direction. Anytime that you start to veer off and start talking about when you want to quit or that you're afraid and you need to tell them that, you know, this might happen. I might get afraid. I might quit. But when it happens remind me of my why. Remind me of the things that I said and I told you that I wanted. Now, in order to create a strong why, the third thing you have to make sure that you're doing is you have to make sure that you're going to revisit your goal, your why, every six months, at least every six months. Um, the reason for this is because things change. You just never know. You know, you might have down there that I want to buy this home in this community and then you know I don't know some another community comes up that's even better and you've changed your mind you, you want to move to a bigger and better place maybe there's um, a new model that comes out in the car or they've created a different version that you're more attracted to that you want now so the reason you want to reinvest is because life changes it's constantly changing your thoughts are constantly changing. What you want is constantly changing. And it's okay to upgrade your goals and upgrade your why um, for something that means something different to you at that point in time. So not only that, the, the other reason why you want to just go back and revisit your goals is because you need to ask yourself some questions. Am I doing everything that I need to do to hit this why, to hit this goal? You know, start jotting down some things and, and start writing down, you know, what is it that I can do to get better, to make sure that I hit this goal? Maybe I need to be a little bit clear on the things that it's going to take for me to get it. Maybe I need to write things down. Maybe I need to hold, you know, hold myself more accountable. Um, maybe I need to look at it every morning. Maybe I need to talk to myself every day. You know, start thinking of all the things or the reasons why Maybe you're not focused on your why and you're not working towards it. The other thing you want to make sure that you do is that you also ask someone else. So you want to ask someone else their opinion on, you know, um, maybe you're working with them and they're your, your, your sponsor or someone in business with you or you're, you're uh, a teammate of yours. You want to ask them, you know, do you feel like I'm doing everything that I can to hit the goals that I say that I want to hit. Um, and maybe you can ask them to give you a list of things that they feel like you can work on and get better at. Um, but whatever it is, don't just look at the goals and then um, retype them, okay? So you do want to retype them. You do want to maybe add them to the book or take the other ones down and put the new ones up. Um, but don't throw away your old goals, keep them. So keep those goals when you're revisiting, add new ones, you know, go over what yourself, some things that you can do, and then don't forget to ask someone else. The why is such an important part of your business and it should be constantly changing, but more importantly, you should be constantly focused on it and thinking about the things that you want and what it's going to take for you to get them. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put a comment. I want to hear what your why is. Put a comment below. Tell me what your why is. I can't wait to read it and hear 
you know, what you've been dreaming of. Maybe it'll give me some things to put on my, my list for the, the new year. All right, guys. Peace.